All right, what's good, my friends? I hope today has brought you a lot of happiness and blessings. Uh, I'm currently outside of Muscle Factory. I'm about to go work out with Mr. Gabe. Uh, I think we're gonna be hitting push today, which I'm pretty excited about because I haven't hit push in a couple days. So today's uh, today is the reignition. Uh, does that make sense, reignition? Yeah. Today we reignite the fire in my belly to become aesthetic and incredibly good looking naked. And I feel like this industry has lost its passion for aesthetics. And that is what me and Gabe are gonna bring back. Hopefully this video is the one that brings it back. Um, very excited. As y'all know, I'm living in Arizona now. I've been here for, I wanna say about five days, bro. And I absolutely love it. I know it's super early, but dude, I visited this place so many times that it's literally a dream come true, me moving here. Uh, today we're gonna be taking, what the fuck? We're gonna be taking wrecked pre-workout buy huge supplements literally the best supplements in the game the best of the best take huge not only does huge make your pumps good make you huge but it also makes your fucking dick huge huge supplements code germ even though, the fucking, even though the fucking incline press is taken yeah. oh, that's fun we could do Smith. Ah, uh, even the Smiths. I'm trying to admit, I gotta hit that barbell. I told, I told the vlog that we're bringing back the aesthetics, the golden age aesthetics, bro. Yeah, bro. You know, the biggest spot. Oh, we're gonna get big. We're gonna get big, baby. I think it gave you, bro. We're here. We're out here. Did you, did you intro it already? Yeah. 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 I told them that we're gonna be hitting, hitting push today. And then, have you ate a lot? Yeah. Oh, yeah, I've been doing good. Yeah? Yeah. I'm ready for today, bro. I'm stoked, right, man? I'm, I'm prepping for a few hours. I'm eating. What are you trying to hit? All right, so Gabe wants to hit 275 for three or four. I'm going to try to match him. I haven't hit incline in a while. I told them that I haven't hit chest in, like, I want to say about a week. So, and that's, that's pretty abnormal for me because you guys know that I do not hit legs. But maybe since I'm living here, I'm gonna be working out with Gabe pretty frequently. He can get me back on the leg. Right? We gotta get his back right. Yeah, facts, bro. Facts. My lower back is fucked, dude. I don't know. I maybe it's my sciatica or something, bro. But like, I, I literally like I try to squat, guys, and it just my back just gives up. I don't know what it is. I, dude. I have, so what? Uh, what? Fuck. What's on the agenda today for chest? Um, incline barbell. Okay. Right. And with incline barbell, I have to PR. It was just pointless. Did you make this program or did you no, have my friend? Okay, okay. So, I kind of I ch I, ch I changed it around a little bit, so this isn't exactly what I do. But, yeah. Flat dumbbell bench, except we don't do that. Yeah. I wanted to put like a super like aesthetic fucking song over this montage, like something new or like oh, yeah. some some crazy shit, like that. some new Ford shit. Dude, I've been trying to like. I feel like everybody like just like spams like funk because it's like it's a thing I, now. I'm like afraid to show my own personality taste and like yeah. I'll throw that up. But now I'm like I'm like trying to break away from that and like find new music again, yeah. like old shit or new shit or like just random shit. I love like the I love like the old hard style like euphoric EDM. I just never put them in these videos because like. They always want, they always want like me, yeah. like, you know, some shit like that, which is cool, but I like, like sometimes like, like Suicide Boys and shit, like I'm not gonna throw it in my videos, I feel like that's not like, actually I've done it once, but like, sometimes I feel feeling some Suicide Boys and yeah. shit, or like some, or just anything. Yeah. Test the waters, bro. Fuck it. Fuck it.
it's looking pretty good. Um, I got my wonderful, amazing girlfriend in the background. And today, I wanted to talk to you guys about something that I feel like I've gotten a lot of questions about. On my alternate Instagram account, Germsexual, if you don't follow that account, I highly suggest following it. It is the cooler side of me. Um, I asked y'all, what are the biggest problems that y'all are dealing with right now? And a lot of you guys said that y'all are lost, y'all don't have any direction, and y'all aren't really making any money. Um, and I thought the best way I could talk about this is by showing y'all with this big ass whiteboard, how to make money doing what you love. And I feel like this is important. And I'm gonna give y'all my perspective. I'm not gonna say this is 100% accurate. And I'm just gonna say this is what has worked for me. So I'm giving y'all my point of view. You guys can leave your opinions down below and let me know what y'all think. Um, I wanna start introducing these segments every video so you guys obtain some sort of value from watching content because I feel like nowadays we're constantly just scrolling on our phones and we're not really gaining anything out of it. So I wanted to take a different approach. I wanted to take a different approach. So let's get straight into business. All right guys, first bullet point on the massive whiteboard is realize that money can be made infinitely. Technology has opened up the gates to make money no matter what you wanna do. I mean, dude, I've seen, the, the craziest business that I've seen that has actually done really well is called ball koozies, which is literally a jacuzzi for your nuts. And if they can make money making jacuzzis for nuts, you can make money doing whatever you wanna do, bro. I've always had a passion for clothes. I've always loved clothes, dude. I was one of those kids that would literally just come to school just so everyone can see my fit. Um, and I didn't, I honestly didn't start my own business till this year in May. I, that's when I did my first uh, merch drop. And if I'm being honest with you, I did my first merch drop with no money going into it. I ended up doing pre-orders and it ended up, turning out to be pretty successful and I was incredibly happy about it. I saw the opportunity and I went full speed. There's a lot of variables that go into it, right? But in a sense, you don't really need a lot of money in order to start a business. Before I was doing social media, I had a job as a plumber and the job paid well. I actually, before I even thought that this was possible, I was probably gonna end up being a plumber if I'm being completely honest with you. Even if you have to work a job that you don't like just to build up some money and put that money into something that you love doing and you know, working your ass off to make sure that that thing that you love doing ends up becoming a job for you, do it, bro. You have to make sacrifices. And that's the second thing I'm gonna be talking to you guys about. Number two. Go all in. If you're already going into this thinking of a plan B, you're allowing yourself to fail. And that's when you lose. You see, when I first started doing social media, this was literally my only route, bro. I dropped out of school when I was making $500 a month with social media and I saw an opportunity and I wanted to pursue it to the fullest. So I ended up quitting my only safety net, which was school. I'm not based, I'm not, telling you guys, like, remember, remember what I said in the beginning. This is all from my experience. I'm not telling you guys that you guys need to quit school. If you can find a way to manage your business while you're in school, and then once that business overtakes and consumes your time and you're successful from it, by all means, quit school, bro. You can always go back to school. The school's always gonna be there, but guess what? The time that you have to succeed with this thing that you wanna do, might not always be there. And that's something that you really need to consider. You have one life to live. Make sure you're living your life to the absolute fullest, doing what you love doing, being around the people that you love being around and trusting God. Trusting God is the number one most important rule of all. Because you know, life is gonna throw you curveballs. Maybe your business doesn't do well one month. That's, a, that's literally the life of an entrepreneur. You know, it, like I said, it's trial and error you will learn and you will succeed. And that is the most important thing. You can be on your thousandth try and still fail, but if you do not give up, it will prosper eventually. You just gotta do trial and error, bro. Trial and error is, is literally how this shit works. 
All right, now we're on number three, which is be different. No matter what kind of business you're going to create, you always want to find a way to be different from your competitors. And something I do with my clothing brand is what Virgil Abloh actually taught me. Shout out the goat. Um, and that is the 3% rule. You find a product that you love or you look at this super successful company and you study them and see what's worked for them and you change 3% of it and make it your own. That's, that's how I've been developing my brand is using the 3% rule that Virgil taught me. And it's been working for me. You know, I've, I, the, the thing with clothes is what you want to make has probably already been made, especially nowadays, because the thing is fashion is just constantly recycled, but it's constantly evolving as it's being recycled. People are always changing, you know, different proportions or different graphics or whatever it is, different material. There, there's always a way to change and evolve regarding what you're doing. And Something that is incredibly important about a business or making money from what you love doing is market that shit. You see, it doesn't matter how amazing of a product you have. If you do not market it properly, it is not going to do good whatsoever. I mean, I've, I, myself, I can, I've, I can even put myself in this. My first shop was the first piece of clothing that I have ever designed and to be honest with you, I didn't think it was my best work, but I marketed the shit out of it and I made sure the marketing was dope. It was different. There was nothing like it. And I put a lot of work into the marketing and it ended up doing really well. And I was incredibly thankful. You know, if it wasn't for you guys, I wouldn't be where I'm at now. And that is why I'm trying to teach you the sauce, bro. So my second drop I did I actually put a lot more work into it, a lot more effort into the design, and it didn't do as great as my first drop. And to be honest with you, I only marketed the clothing about four days before the drop, which is my bad. If I ended up promoting it more, it probably would have done better. But like I said, trial and error. So no matter what business you want to go into, marketing is always going to be incredibly important. Bro, nowadays you got TikTok uh, shop, which is booming. I mean, I see so many like different products, especially this one clothing product. It's literally a sweat pant. I bet y'all have seen it. And it says, I heart my boyfriend on the butt. And dude, they've sold about 18,000 last time I checked, which is insane. I mean, dude, they're using a gild and blank with DTG printing on the the pan and i promise you that is not that expensive to do that is actually pretty cheap to do and they're selling it at like 45 dollars. good for them i mean dude they're doing a great job but nowadays there's just so many different ways to market i mean if you look at young la for example young la uses influencer marketing they grab y'all's favorite content creator and they get your favorite content creator to wear their clothing and if you're seeing your favorite content creator wear this clothing Maybe you're not in love with it, but if your content, if that content creator persuades you and, and you know, looks good in the clothes, you're going to want to buy it. That's just one example. Um, that's influencer marketing. And, and nowadays, I mean, dude, a lot of companies are going towards the influencer marketing route. Getting back to what I was saying, I'm, I'm going to quit the app. Getting back to what I was saying is marketing is extremely important. If you can find a way to market your product to the absolute fullest, no matter what kind of marketing you're doing, even if it's a low budget marketing, bro. I mean, dude, it's, you're gonna pro you're gonna do well. I really wanna know y'all's thoughts down below if this video helped at all. If y'all wanna see more of these kinds of videos, let me know down in the comments below. I want to, I wanna see y'all win. I wanna see y'all win and I wanna see you guys doing what you love doing no matter what it is, bro. You know, maybe what you love doing doesn't need all this shit that I just spat out. But regardless, I just want you to win, bro. And I hope you gain something out of this video because I am tired of making content that doesn't have value in it. And that's just, I just find it to be a waste of time and I don't want you guys wasting your time. So I love y'all. I'll catch y'all soon. What is real prosper, baby?